Hello, and welcome back once again to Jeff Finnegan's Wake, the project where I, Jeff, read the book Finnegan's Wake to you one page at a time, although currently two pages at a time until Friday when I get caught up one day at a time, put on the YouTubes. It's a book jab by James Joyce, published 1939 originally. We are on to page 120. Ooh. Here we go. Taken for pews with their tails in their mouths, thence your Christopher Palumbos, hence our cat Presbyterians. The curt witty waddy dashes, never quite just right, at the trim, trite truth letter. The sudden spluttered petulance of some capitalized middle a word as cunningly hidden in a may in its maze of confused drapery as a field mouse in a nest of colored ribbons. That absurdly bull's footed bee declaring with an even plainer dump show than does the mute commoner with how hard a thing it is to m m born a gentler man. And look at this pre n pronomial fun for all engraved and retouched and edge wiped and put and padded. Very much like a whale's egg, farced with pemmican, as were it sentenced to be nuzzled over a full trillion times for ever and a night till his noddle sink or swim by that ideal reader suffering from an ideal insomnia. All those red rattled obli cayenne pepper cast over the text, calling unnecessary attention to errors, omissions, repetitions, and misalignments that probably local or personal variant maggers for the more generally accepted majesty, which is but a trifle, and yet may quietly amuse. Those supercilious-looking crisscrossed Greek East, awkward like perched there and here out of a date like sick owls hawked back to Athens, and the Gigi's too, Jesuistically formed at first, but afterwards genuflected agrily toward, towards the Occident, the Ostrogothic cacography affected for certain phrases of an Etruscan stable talk, and, in short, the learning betrayed at almost every line's end, the head strength, or even at least eleven men of thirty-two palfrey craft, revealed by constant labor to make a gimmel pass through the eye of an iota, this, for instance, utterly unexpected, sinistrogenic, sinistrogyric, return to one particular, peculiar sore point in the past. Those thrown open W's of an early muddy terrarian origin, whether man chooses to damn them a glutentively loo to blue face, ache, or ill voodoo paw pee hole, or can'ts quartz topple fowls, seated with such flop right down determination, and reminding us ineluctably of nature at her naturalist, while that fretful fidget F. The hornful diagamma of your Borna Barber, rarely heard now save when falling from the unfashionable ellipsis of some hat heterosexual, always used in two bold-faced print types. One of them is wrong-headed as... It's wrong-headed as page 120, perhaps? I don't know, but that's where we are. All right. And I'll catch you next time on Jeff Finnegan's Wake.